welcome back to my channel. As you saw in the title or like in the intro, today's look is gonna be freckled up. It's gonna be a bold red lip with freckles. It's gonna look natural. I want to stay on the glowy type of skin and as you can see, I'm in a different environment for my filming. I'm at my grandmother's house because my sister does live here too with her. And yeah, so that's making you curious, you know why I'm in a different little location. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. I did my eyebrows off camera because I'm gonna do a separate video for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer. It looks like this. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump like two little dots of that and just rub it into my skin. Before I go in with my foundation, and I like grabbing the Professional Benefit Primer, and I use these all over wherever I have pores, and I feel like I would get oily. So, forehead, T zone, nose, and chin. And a little bit above my lip. I don't know why I like doing it, but it, it somehow like just cancels all those little pores by my nose and on my chin my foundation which is i'm using the laura mercy a flawless fusion foundation this is one of her newest foundations that they had just came out with it's the flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation and i've been using this like non-stop it's very full coverage you can build it up um and i'm in the shade four in one suntan so i like this and i'm gonna go ahead and just pump a couple of dots pump a couple of dots on the back of my hand and I'm going in with the Morphe Y6. Now I really do love this brush. I got this last week in a box that I had purchased from them because I purchased a lot from them and I do suggest this brush. It's one of my go-to's now and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this into my face and I wanted to talk about tomorrow I am very excited. It does look a little bit darker, but don't worry y'all. It gets lighter because of my concealer and everything. But I wanted to talk about how tomorrow is going to go. So I am vlogging my hair experience because I need to show y'all who's doing my hair. How we're doing it and the whole process because I do get a lot of questions asked what does your um, hairstylist do or what do you do at home when you when you want to dye your hair you know things like that and I just felt the need to vlog tomorrow because it would have been important anyways all that matters is that I'm going back tomorrow with my favorite hairstylist and I'm going to go back to my normal self let me know if I should change my at to chemical blonde. I asked on my Instagram and I know a lot of y'all didn't want me to, but I just, I felt the need to. I need to do something different. Lauren's Revenge is my title. That's my, it's how I got known, but it's just, I need to try something different. So once you feel like you've got all over your face, what you do in my case right now since I don't have my ring light I don't have anything to see if I really got every point Barbie Guts had showed me this um, trick on YouTube so you get your flash and you flash it on your face and that's how you see if you got all the spots and then boom so that's how I do it whenever I'm not in my little normal lighting so then what i do is i go in with a morphe e10 and i'm gonna go in with my anastasia or anastasia concealer and i'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of that and just put it under my eyes i personally love this concealer it is one of my go-to's Besides the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to take the Morphe sponge, which is my go-to sponges. I have two of these already and I need to get more. And I'm going to go ahead and just dab that into the skin. Now I'll rub it or pull or tag on the skin. Now what I'm going to do is go in with my Fit Me, well it's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the big brush. Oh, I take that back. I'm going in with the buffing brush by Bro Techniques, and I'm going to carefully get a little bit into the cap, and I use whatever's in the cap first, and just set my eyes. I do need to go and get my natural shade in this powder because I would love to use this as like a face powder to set my whole face because whenever I use this one it's only meant for under my eyes since it is so white and that's why I get flashback half of the time so right and now what I'm gonna do is bronze my face a little bit because we did lose some color while putting the foundation and then the powder and the concealer so I'm gonna go in with a Morphe brush. Now this came in this little box. You can not box, but like brush holder. You can get this like from their website. Excuse me, but we do have one. If you live in Houston, go to the Galleria. I know they're opening a Morphe soon, so go ahead and head over there and check it out. No, I do not have a code. I will someday have a code. I'll go ahead and go in with the Hula bronzer from Benefit and just go ham with my bronzer so I'm gonna I don't want to get too much on my head but I like doing my head because I have a big head and I'm just go like this I'm not careful with my bronzer and the reason why is because I want to look sun-kissed I want to look bronzy I don't want to look so perfect I want it to look natural on the skin so that's why I don't really go in perfectly with my bronzer because I just want to look like I've been in the sun all day. So I'm going to use the bronzer that I'm using in my hand. Now this is extra dark so it does look like a contour in me and I really love that. So I'm not really upset that I got the wrong shade. I need to go get like saddle from them. But it's Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's in rich amber and it's just a powder bronzer I'm careful with this one I like placing it and then blending it now that I look extra bronze like better than ever I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes and we'll go ahead and just go in on eyes also if we do get this video up by tonight before I go blonde should I dye my eyebrows? Or not dye my eyebrows, should I bleach my eyebrows? I'm kind of scared, but I've had black eyebrows for a while, and I feel like it's not going to look good. I'm not talking about I'm going to go, like, pale, like, platinum blonde on my brows, but I'm talking about, like, at least going to, like, a lighter brown. So it doesn't look so harsh whenever I do my eyebrows. I need to go pick some of that up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Morphe M532 instead, because it's more of a fluffy brush. So I'm going to grab more of that orange shade and we're going to really just smoke this baby out. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. You can go in with a little brush like this or better yet like an angled brush like this. Let's see if it'll focus. And you can you can just dip into your bronzer just a little bit and you can contour your nose. I'm gonna go ham today with is the Milani Luminoso blush. Now I rave about this so much on my channel. There's not a time where I don't use this blush besides the pure blush, but I prefer this one. <laughs> I add a lot on my nose because we since we are doing freckles. Okay. I'm going to grab my eyebrow brush and I'm going to go in with any brown shade. You can do light brown, dark brown, black, anything you want and you can go in. I'm going to go in with this palette. I mean, you can go in with any palette. I prefer using eyeshadow or eyeliner, whatever fits you better. And I take my brush. I'm going to try to get close. Can I focus? Okay. And then I just start making it up. I'm not perfect. I add way more than I actually need. Um, until I figured out that I went ham, you're going to just keep adding. Whenever you use enough of a dark brown, go to a light brown. 
and then go to a light brown orange and you can always go in with a beauty blender and just stamp it out but I'm gonna just keep adding until ooh okay okay freckles come through hello freckles yes okay so once you feel like you've got enough because I've I'm, I'm at that point where I need to stop. Um, I'm going to go in with this big brush again, go in with some blush, tap off the excess, and go over on top. And then you're going to take a little beauty blender if you have one by you, and just go on top of that. And really push them into the skin. And that's how they look, or that's how they should look. I'm trying to see if it's capturing them. I don't know if y'all can see them or not, but yeah. That's how they're gonna look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some mascara. I wanted to stick with no lashes. My lashes need to have their own spotlight on my channel. We're gonna add some white liner before I go on my bottom lash line. Just to open up the eyes a little bit more. Now what we're gonna do it's highlight because I did my mascara and I did my waterline. So now we're going to go with highlight and I do use a new Morphe brush for highlighting instead of the, my, the Morphe M510. I go with the M105 and I just really go ham with my highlight because we do want our skin to look very dewy. And now I'm going to go in with this smaller little like inner corner brush and I'm gonna grab some of the highlight this is my favorite brush to highlight my nose with and I look down in the mirror and I pick the right at the center of my nose and I have this little glow on my nose this too if I'm really on the go this is what I do so Morphe had let out a release of their newest lipsticks it's all shades of red but each one are very unique and individual in their ways so they look like this they have the M on the top. They're very, they're very like, like they look like you want to collect these. And I used one already. I used Dominant, but today I'm gonna use Steamy because Dominant is more of a, ugh, like a, mm, like a. I don't know how to explain it, but it's more of like a, yeah, I own this look type red rather than a soft steamy blue undertone red which I prefer for this look because it's more outgoing, it's more fun. Rather than that, it's a sexy, sultry type look, but you want to go focus on this good red shade, which I think I just got on my hand and I did. So, let's go ahead and just pop this baby on. So yeah, that's what this look is going to look like. The finished look and everything. Let me know if y'all need a eyebrow tutorial because I know I get a lot of questions on my eyebrows and how I do them or a new foundation routine or my skincare, you know, stuff like that. I am vlogging tomorrow, like I said at the beginning of the video. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all guys love this video. On any other videos, let me know in the comments down below. Everything I use will be in the description box as well. And yeah, I hope you guys are happy with the look I did today. It's very bold. It's very different. And yeah. I love you guys and have a nice day. <laughs>